Welcome, welcome. And there's a surprise package at the back. How are you? Rohan lives very far. You remember, I think, old I request everyone to stand in attention for the national anthem. Chief guest to stay uh, for the salute of the national flag.
Independence Day to all of you. Dear Ratna ma'am, respected principal, all the teachers, faculty, our parents, and my fellow students. As you know, why I said fellow students, like ma'am said, exactly 18 years back, I was standing or sitting exactly where you were. And it brings back many fond memories for me. The school is looking fabulous. It's completely changed, way beyond my imagination. Where you're all sitting right now was our volleyball court. This was the podium always, the stage. And it was always a beautiful campus for us then. Now it's even more, more and more beautiful. Must congratulate Ratna ma'am on that occasion. You know, wherever we go in life, however big or small we are, or whatever you're doing, when you get that one call, you're always nervous and scared. What is that one call? A call from your school. <laughs> so when, when Ratna ma'am called me, or uh, recently I met her at an event, she said, Ram, I want to talk to you. I said, ma'am, what did I do now? <laughs> said, no, we are celebrating our 30th year and also happens to be the Independence Day. I really want you to come. I was so relieved and I was so happy and honored. Thank you so much, ma'am, for giving me the relief and the honor for having me or be a small part of this day. I'm really, really honored. In my 11 years of my career, I've uh, given many speeches, many functions, or in other uh, events. Trust me, I have never carried what I need to read in my hand. <laughs> the reason is, when you're attending an event where you studied, and when your founder and director is sitting right next to you, you don't want to make mistakes. So I prepared myself very carefully. My wife helped me write my speech. I'm not going to make mistakes today, at least. I hope so. Help me. Guys, don't laugh if I make many mistakes. And be a big bully, huh? So, Ratna Ram, school was always uh, much of a learning place. But for many of us, we always treated it with great respect. A place where you can have fun, learning, along with learning great things in life which I have which I've been using in my or putting it uh, to use in my career today. Today, before attending the function, I was talking to Ratna ma'am at her office and we were talking. She was one woman who grounded all the students at that time. If not for her, notorious naughty students like me would have been wandering on the streets. Remembering all my school days, today the closest people I have in my life are the friends I made from school. Not from college, not from work, but friends who I made in this campus. One of my four best friends, who is one of them is Vikas standing there, or Abhilash, Rohan. What I want to say from this is, enjoy your time here, respect your co-friends, your school students, because they are the ones who are going to always last with you forever. Give me a moment, I'm reading oh, what I wrote. <laughs> and apart from this, school was just not learning for me. I made relationships here which have lasted with me till now and I hope forever. Especially a faculty who have taught me guided me. Though I've studied here for a brief, uh, brief time, a couple of years, when somebody asked me, where did you graduate or where did you pass or which school? Though I've studied in other schools, I proudly say I came out of Chirek. <laughs> Amongst few schools I studied because we shifted from Chennai to Hyderabad. 
So we, I, I studied in multiple schools. This is the impact the school has left in me. I really am happy because I'm reliving every moment I spent in this school. Your vice principal, Mr. Venkat Raman sir, who was, who was once Venkat Raman sir was one of the coolest faculty we had. He was strict when he needs to be. He was fun. He was a mentor. He guided all of us. And today it's nice to have that you guys have a vice principal like Mr. Venkat Raman sir. And remembering other faculty who might be here, thank you all of you, including uh, Tara Ma'am, who was my uh, English teacher, who was our favorite. I wish, I was waiting for a moment where I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being part of our growing up years. It made a huge impact on all our faculty, so on our students and our batch. And I hope one day, when I have a kid, I see him grow up and study and play in these grounds. I'm sure for the record, Chirek over 30 years has broken many, many records and I've also set new benchmarks for other schools. I know when we used to go for inter-school competition, how scared the other schools were when we used to enter the, uh, in the sports ground. I was, I remember I used to play basketball in that ground in the corner right there. There's only one ground there, one uh, court. Now you have, I think, uh, two courts. I was the basketball captain and volleyball captain of Chirik when I studied here. And uh, I was actually very proud of it. Of course, uh, anybody will be. And back then, our sports director was, I think, uh, Masood Ali, sir. Uh, so most of you won't know him, but he uh, retired back then. But Ratna Ma'am was only worried about my education. <laughs> she always appreciated. She gave me all my uh, sports day awards and uh, being a captain and if we won. But while she giving me an award, she always says, Ram, I need to see the scores. <laughs> so, you always have to have one person behind us. Here at school, you need one person always pushing you beyond that, you know, beyond your capacity. At home, we used to have parents, of course. But at school, we always need that one person, always pushing and constantly, persistently doing that. And that was Ratna Ma'am. So, Ratna Ma'am, I could not be an A student or A1 student in academics. But I used your inspiration, I mean your talk and uh, your persistent uh, 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 urge to make me do something when I was in academics. But I used that same zeal in a career which I chose and it, I, I think I've, I've achieved something and I've, I have a lot more to achieve. So students, education for me was not always learning, doing homework, reading books, but it is the most important. But beyond that, it is learning from your atmosphere, where your environment, adapting to new things and moving forward and not creeping about it. Don't forget to make mistakes. Don't. Don't get scared of making mistakes. Please make mistakes. Trust me, I have learned more from my failures. Out of the 11 films I have done, a couple of them were disaster and didn't even do well. I didn't even want to come out of my, uh, my bedroom. For a few days I used to be in my bedroom. My breakfast, lunch, everything, my mom used to serve me in my bedroom. Of course, we had people to guide us, help us and educate us that. Failures are part of life. But you know, at that moment, you think the world has crumbled down and fallen and what else to do? But I gave myself time, a couple of days, 
to actually accept the fact that yes, this is the situation, we have not performed well that year or not. Don't escape from it. Stand against it. Stand in front of it. Accept your failure. Because only when you accept who you are, you will have the scope to correct who you want to be. So don't be scared of making mistakes. Make mistakes and don't be, make the same mistakes again. Actually, it's okay to make the same mistakes again because you'll again learn. Don't forget that. Lastly, I would like to say, it's been a tremendous experience to see all the students perform. We used to perform on this stage all the drama about our country, the problems we have. It is very true that what we are facing is true about feminism or womanhood being uh, curbed. But Looking at the brighter side and the optimistic side, 30 years ago, the same society which we are living in and we are talking about women not getting the equal importance. But there was that one woman 30 years ago who started with just very little family support, who created an empire with great students, with great facilities, amazing faculty, beautiful ground like this in the center, heart of the city today. And every penny she earned from here, she didn't put it back in her bank or put it back in her other businesses. She put it back in every brick which was built in this, to make this college or school, sorry, what it is today. When I was there, it was just three buildings, the main building and the opposite, the dining hall, which was there. And today, it is a massive, massive structure as I see. It is only because... She has invested every penny back so that all of us and all of you can have a joyous day when you guys come here. Congratulations, ma'am. My father always says, you cannot sail in many boats. You can only sail in one boat if you want to achieve something in life and want people to remember you for something. Please travel and sail in one boat and make sure that boat is the best boat and make sure you are the best sailor in your life. Thank you so much for having me again. Challenge sir, leaving the stage. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. I wanted to say I was an Aravali team. Please <laughs> No problem, guys. You also did very well. Maybe next time you'll get the award. Right? <laughs> All the best. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yes.